Kesey of Richton Park, Illinois. His groom, John Zasuski. Number two is Happy Sharon, the only mare in the race and only the sixth ever in the Provincial Cup. She's by the 1970 Triple Crown winner, Most Happy Fella, and has career earnings of just over $440,000 for Robert Palmer of Leslie, Michigan. Happy Sharon is the national season's leader on a half-mile track with her 157 and one mile at Louisville Downs. She'll be handled by longtime Detroit and Windsor favorite, Wally McElmurray who himself has won over 2,000 races. Happy Sharon's groom tonight, Robert Fed. Hey, Wally, well, you trying to get fifth place money again? <laughs> junior rider. Number three is Mary Isle. The first horse in the cup to be sired by a previous winner, Isle of Wight, who upset the great Albatross in 1972 and repeated in 1973. Mary Isle was one of the top-rated Colts last year with earnings over $245,000, but has been off most of 1980. He's owned by James Dunham of Camelville, Ontario, and will be driven tonight by Greg Wright. His groom is John Clare. The odds on Mary Isle, 25 to 1. Number 4 is Majestic Lobel. Went up against the Wonder Horse, Niatros, more than any other three-year-old this year. This Albatross Colt is owned by Kelly Katona of Michigan, with earnings of $88,850 for the year. He'll be driven by Windsor's top driver, Bill Gale, with 12 driving titles to his credit. Majestic Lobel has won his last four starts, including a time trial win of 155 and 4 at Lexington. His groom is Jim Cole. And Majestic Lobel is going off at odds of 3 to 1 on the board right now. A sentimental favorite of the fans around the Windsor, Detroit area. Majestic Lobel winning last week here at Windsor in a wire to wire bid. Facing his mile in 159 and 1, he kind of put him away. He's the only three year old in the race. Number five is Pat's Gypsy, the fastest free-legged pacer of all time, with his 154 mile earlier this year at the Meadowlands, which is also a national season's mark. Pat's Gypsy, with Lou Williams in the bike, scored his most important career win last week at Roosevelt Raceway in the $200,000 George Morton Levy pace. This free-legged sensation is owned by Woodmont Stables of Cleveland, Ohio. His groom, Mike Sims. And on the board right now, Pat's Gypsy is at one to two. That means for every $2 bet, he'll return $3. Pat's Gypsy. Number six is Tijuana Taxi. He was voted Canada's Horse of the Year in 1979. And this year, as a four-year-old, he is the national season's leader with his 154 and three mile at the Meadowlands. He is the richest horse in the race with career earnings of $784,306 with a Bar M stable of Ottawa. He'll be handled by tonight by Scott Forbes, only the second Windsor-born driver to compete in the cup. Greg Wright's the other. His groom is Dave Miller. And on the board right now, Tijuana Taxi is at 11 to 1, somewhat of a long shot in this race. But don't count him out. <laughs> and number seven is league leader. This royally bred son of strikeout is rated one of the best free-for-all pacers in the country. He finished second to Pat's Gypsy in last week's George Morton Levy. League leader is owned by John Grant of Hornby, Ontario. He'll be driven by one of the all-time greats of harness racing, Buddy Gilmore. Gilmore has won more than 4,000 races and over $17 million in purse money in his illustrious career. His groom tonight, Chuck Curran. 
There you have the horses and drivers for the eighth race, the Provincial Cup. They'll go one mile for a purse of $50,000. And we'll be back with the Provincial Cup following these messages. The horses are $50,000 Provincial a one-mile pace, and it's the biggest purse that Windsor Raceway offers. The gate is rolling. It'll be Childwood Hanover, Happy Sharon, and Mary Isle, the inside three. Majestic Lobel in the center with Patch Gypsy, Tijuana Taxi, and League Leader on the outside. It's post time for the eighth, the $50,000 Provincial Cup. As the horses come to the post, at 30 to 1 is Childwood Hanover, 17 to 1 is Happy Sharon. The favorite at 3 to 5 is number 5, Pat's Gypsy with Lou Williams aboard. Lots of action going on, number 4, Majestic Lobel, he's at 5 to 2. League leaders at 5 to 1. This field is now moving through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off and pacing at the rail. It's Childwood Hanover driving out for the lead. Moving up on the outside now is Pat's Gypsy. In between horses, Happy Sharon. Childwood Hanover on the inside. Pat's Gypsy on the outside. Challenging for the lead. The two horses pacing right on. Pat's Gypsy on the outside has the lead. Childwood Hanover is second. Happy Sharon is right there. Third, another three lengths back, fourth is Mary Isle. Moving up fifth is Majestic Lobel. Sixth is Tijuana Taxi and League Leader. The quarter in 27 and three. Pat's Gypsy has the lead as they pass in front of the grandstand. It's Pat's Gypsy by one. Racing second is Childwood Hanover. And here comes Majestic Lobel on the outside. He's fourth, now third, followed by Tijuana Taxi. It's Pat's Gypsy with the lead on the outside. Majestic Lobel is now second. In at the rail, Childwood Hanover races third. Happy Sharon fourth. They're at the half mile pole and Majestic Lobel takes the lead. The half in 58 and two. Majestic Lobel now out in front by a length. Pat's Gypsy is second. In at the rail racing third is Childwood Hanover. On the outside comes Tijuana Taxi. They straighten out down the back stretch. Majestic Lobel, the three year old by a length. On the outside is Tijuana Taxi. On the inside is Pat's Gypsy looking for racing room. They're heading for the three-quarter pole with the lead by one length, Majestic Lobel. The three-quarters in one, 27 and four. It's Majestic Lobel by three-quarters of a length. Tijuana Taxi is second. Pat's Gypsy is looking for room. And here comes league leader from far back. Also on the outside, Happy Sharon. As they move off the turn, it's Majestic Lobel by a length. In the center of the track comes Patch Gypsy on through the stretch. Majestic Lobel, Patch Gypsy on the outside, down to the wire, Patch Gypsy, and here they are. Driver Lou Williams is with me right now. Nice seeing you again. You've done well since you left Windsor a few years ago, Lou. Yeah. We're going to pick up this race at the half-mile pole. Looked like they were gunning for you tonight, weren't they? Yeah, they're just trying. They parked you to a quarter there in about 27 and a piece, and let's pick it up at the half right now. And uh, Majestic Lobel just come by you. Now, why did you let him go by you, first of all? Was there a reason? Because I used him pretty hard to quarter, and I had to give him a rest somewhere. So you're giving him a rest, and were you not afraid? Now, right here, you're getting locked in. Okay, moving up on the outside uh, comes, uh, I believe it's Tijuana Tax and you're locked in. Were, were you at all concerned about getting out at this point? As long as it wasn't leg leader out there, I just figured I could get out. Ah, oh, you kind of thought that the horse on the outside was uh, somewhere in the, in the mile was going to kind of back off. Now that three yeah. quarters is a lightning fast three quarters. Yeah. And it looks here like you're helplessly locked in with Majestic low bound. Now this horse here had been chasing Niatros all, all year, mm -hmm. right? And it looked like he was going to be able to hang on there in the front end. Yeah. Now when did you think you had the shot? Well, I knew I had enough force left to talk the stretch. It's just a matter of getting out or not. Now where's the point? Is that it? right here? Yeah. Uh, Scotty Forbes, he, of course, was dying. He moved over and let me out. That's what gave me the break. Now, look at your whip is still over your shoulder. Yeah. You didn't have to touch him? No. Not at all. No. I understand this horse is by as a two-year-old. Is yes. that right? Mm -hmm. Do you know what, where, where he's going from here? California. He's out to California. Are you going to be driving him out there as well? Yes. Lou Williams, congratulations. It's a heck of a horse. I know you don't train him, but you drive him like a, a superman. Okay, thank you. Lou Williams, and that's it from Windsor Raceway. The 1980 Provincial Cup, one at a time, 157 and a piece by Pat's Gypsy. This is Marty Adler. Good night from Windsor Raceway. Oh.